So you want your uh, <clears throat> UTM cord to go through the middle of your UTM guy. And then you want your two tubes, which are your, your water and your air, to go through two of those. I don't think it matters which. And now you've got this. Are you going to throw that up on my floor later? He doesn't give a fuck. So now these guys are all like numbered and you can't really see that on here. But we have to kind of make these 12 go on, on there. And <clears throat> there's only really four that work right now so you really only have to do four. But we might as well do all 12, because I actually don't know why. Yeah, I can already see a, a distancing problem happening here. It's probably best to spread it out like a 12-leg octopus or spider. I get like spiders. Okay, so your ground wire is your green-yellow wire, and that's going to go on A. So you take your little zap strap, zip strap, fuck strap, big frack, and you tie it around there. And then you do that for the other 12 biddies, if you can read the numbers on the wires, but you probably can't, because they're so tiny. They're so tiny. I never, I never thought I'd utter these words, but what, what's the fourth hole for? Well, that was sketchy as fuck. Just like you. So what I've done is I've slowly pulled all of the... all of the wire down here and then out here in order to bring this up higher. I don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be doing, but that's what I'm doing. I tighten up your T-nuts on the back, make sure it's flush with the... Z axis. Don't mind that. And you're done. Now it's on to the fun stuff. Now we're talking here. This is the electronic housing part. This is uh, gonna need your T nuts. It's later on though, but mostly it's gonna be this kind of stuff. If you've done computers before, it's looking like stuff that you've used before. We've got the Raspberry Pi, which is apparently some kind of badass open source thing. I have no idea. Everyone knows what that is. You've got your uh, your red one, and then we you got your Mega. Mega. And then um, these little guys, four of them. They're, um, uh, I think they're flux capacitors, I'm not sure. Calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. And then there's this gender bender flux. It, can I say that? No, it's tranny bender? No. Ah. Ah. Oh, I don't want to offend the SJWs. And then there's a a five volt um, power adapter and then the little guys tie it together and um, last but not least some... here's what your raspberry pi looks like it's gotten too loud out here bastards um this is the brain and it's gonna go in the back of the Raspberry Pi, right in that little slot right there. Just like that. However, you're gonna wanna install uh, the operating system on that micro SD before you do that. However, I don't have a, oops, I missed the mounting plate, must be sober. Um, so you can peel off, what the fuck are they doing over there? You can peel this off to make it look nice and clear, because clear is always cool. Wait, is that racist? 
And we're going to use these uh, guys here to uh, mount the, the some badassery. Once you've got your, uh, your standoffs on there, you've got your mega. 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 It only goes on one way, so you can't screw it up too bad, but basically like that. And then use the same screws you used to plant the standoffs. Just so next to the mega goes the pie, you know, like mom always used to say. And then use the taller standoffs for this one. And then we pop the pie right on there. And screw it down with those same uh, 2.54 screws. I'm gonna put annotations in here one of these days. So now we're going to use the wiener to wiener connector to put these two guys in love. Oh baby, that was sexy. So now, we're getting a little bit sketchy just because if we're going to mount the plate into the housing, I want to make sure I want to make sure that I can still get the uh the micro SD out to install the uh, soft the operating system still so but it looks like it's still possible yeah see just to give you, still pop that sucker up now this is your ramp shield and uh, you're going to take all these pins and you want to put all you want to put all these things in all those things I'm sure that's really easy. Whew, that was a very uncomfortable gangbang. So these little guys are stepper drivers, and what they do is they provide power to our four motors. So we gotta take the heat sink there, peel off the backing, and then place it on there. Like that, and do it uh, three more times. Boop, you're done. And now I want to do acid for some reason. I don't know why. So now you want to take your drivers and put them in the, the other guy here. And the the way you put these in is like like important because like you know if you do it wrong you like gotta like literally fry the system you know like totally. So yeah. And, Can you guys hear that? Or is it just me? I am losing my mind. So yeah, make sure these little silver bitties, the little silver bitties up there, make sure they're the farthest away from the green spot. And you got your one, two, three, four there. If you don't do this, you're fucked. At this point, your level of electronics skill is a little questionable. <laughs> so, you're gonna do some stuff that might be easy to do, like uh, like this. This is this is this is your this is your Pi Power connector right here, and so it's gonna want to go right there, and it's gonna want to look exactly like this. See that? That's how you want it to look. So now go through your mess of cables and it should be coming out of the x-axis here and find the ones that are green. Oh. And now uh, take those two power cables and uh, unscrew the tops there, throw in the wires there and uh, make sure it goes uh, red, black, red, black. So you got that looking thing, and then there. So now, out of the x-axis again, see if we can find the red wire, and then attach that to your, uh, your Pi adapter with those handy dandy little is that in focus? Oh, we got a hardware bug. Ah, it's fucking up. I always hated these things. 
never tell if they're attached properly or not. Alright, so for mounting, we're back to the T nuts. Sorry, I really thought the T nuts had a chance to win the provincial election. Yeah, I think that'll do. That'll do, Piggy. That'll do. And now they say to put these on the back side of the z-axis as cable guides to keep everything neat and orderly but like i don't see anything neat and orderly going on at all this time so yeah we'll put them on now and see what happens later i, I guess yeah like that and they're guiding no cables at this point so fuck who knows all right so now we're gonna start fucking with the power supply she's gonna get real Bro, uh, shit, uh, wubba lubba dub dub. Lick, lick, lick my balls! <laughs> yeah, say that all the time. So that's what I end up with there. All red on positive, black on negative. Uh, fuck, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. So you've got your solenoid on the left and your vacuum tube on the right and we're going to want to put those up in there it's kind of the opposite of the other ones but i think that's right 